What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with a new Thrones Britannia video and we have a showing off a new mod. This is Tribes of Britannia. So this is supposedly set like just before the Roman invasion so that's 43 AD. So it's set just before then and the it's basically well the Tribes of Britannia. So you've got like the Thrones of the Britannia map uh, with Tribes of Britannia instead. So you've got like the Belge, the Antrobats, the Trinovantes, the Iceni, the Parisi. You've got loads and loads. There's about, I don't know, there must be at least 40, maybe more. Um, the campaign is not quite sorted. It is a very much a work in development. This is very, very uh, early stages. But, yeah, I thought I'd check it out. And it's uh, looking pretty good. These, like, models look awesome. The shields look amazing. look very, like, Iron Age sort of style look amazing um, and then yes we have naked warriors of course there's naked warriors um, and then what else have we got we'll quickly go through so they're like the chosen skyclad I think they're like the highest tier naked warrior or mad unit you can get we've got some tested spears so they're a bit lot more like lightly armored they've got their woad on you can see here they look awesome we've got uh, some veteran spear bands so these are gonna be the more your elite stuff your your chosen men that look after your warlord. Uh, you probably won't be skipping many though in a campaign. We've got slingers back here looking very very nice. We've got uh, our general which is a battle hardened druid. I think these guys could look a little bit more druidic. Give them like capes and maybe like hoods. I know it's a bit stereotypical that's what they all look like but it's what we want. Make them look a bit more like druids. We've got um, we've got the chosen spears here. This is the mo most elite spear unit. So these guys look excellent. Look at this man here. He is determined and ready for battle. Then what else have we got? We've got uh, veteran painted ones. So these are like your world warriors. Um, they look awesome. And then what have we got here? We've got trusted spears. They're more like, yeah, I think they're the lowest tier unit I have. Um, but we're up against, the, and we have the horses, of course. Heroic horsemen, I forgot. And um, these guys are a lot less like armored than, say, like Celtic uh, horses later on in like Rome 2, for instance. But... They should do the job. They're like the highest tier, I think, there are for cavalry, but we'll see how they do. Anyway, we're up against the Trinovantes. So this is one of the factions in, histo in history that fought the Romans first um, in the south, and then they allied with them. Um, when they couldn't beat them, they allied with them. Rome is also in this uh, mod, and I will be showing a battle after this one uh, with Rome in. So do stick around to see... Rome battle it out and they are not as OP as they are in the ninth uh, Legion mod for which is for Thrones as well or well, the Lost Legion it's called um, but it's just got the, the ninth Legion in it so ninth Legion mod Lost Legion same thing tomato tomato but I hope you guys all enjoy the content at the moment do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and leave a comment if you want to see more of this uh, sort of content if you want to see more th uh, tribes of Britannia it's call or more Thrones of Britannia uh, I know it's not the most popular mod, uh, not mo well, mod or game, um, game for this, but mod for Tribes of Britannia. Thrones of Britannia is not a very popular game, that's what I'm trying to say, um, slowly and uh, ineffectively. Uh, but if you guys want to see more of it, it got well received last time I put it up, so if uh, you guys want to see it again, Please do let me know what we've got over here. Then we've got they've got some painted skirmishers. I gave them basically a similar ar similar army. They've got chosen swords, painted ones, which are I think just a little bit worse than the veteran ones. Trusted spears. They've got tested sword band. These guys are awesome. They're basically very much a lot of these units are very much the same as the spear or sword variant. They've just got a spear or a sword. And then yeah, I think that's it. Oh, we got painted ambushes. Didn't get these guys myself, but these are just like the spear version. They look awesome as well. But yeah, these guys look amazing. So I think I gave these guys some different stuff. Um, just to try and give them a bit more uh, strength. I think it gave them more skyclad or I gave them more spears or something like that. I certainly gave them javies, which will be nasty. Uh, we'll see how they do. We'll just speed this up. Let this get here. Let the Bell J get here. But yeah, the Bell J are also a... They fled, well, Belgium, obviously, or that sort of area, the Low Countries, to uh, Britain and then settled there. As did the Antrobats, the, the exact same thing. They fled um, the same area of uh, the world, Belgium, and also came to Britain and sort of like 
took over a bit of land and made it their own. And both of, well, certainly the Androparts were very, uh, were well, one of the first as well to also defy... Actually, no, they were one of the first to accept the Romans, I do apologise. They were one of the first to accept the Romans because they'd seen what happened in, um, the, on the main, on the mainland and they just kind of like, yeah, let's not fight these guys that are very good at fighting. Um, cavalry, go wide. Uh, I'm not really too fussed about winning it. I'm just kind of showing off the units. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think we've got a good chance of winning. You can't form shield wall. I can do toggle mode, but that's uh, that's no good to us. Uh, axes go in here. Get the charges with the, the uh, sky cloud or whatever they're called. And then we'll go like there. And you... I guess, yeah, you need to go up there. You go over there, and they probably all attacked me on this side, haven't they? Oh, yep. Yeah. What were these? Oh, veteran painted ones. Okay. Well, you can all flank round. Hard. You hold the line there, I guess. Or are you winning? Eh, hold the line. Uh, we killed the slingers. <laughs> that wasn't hard. Uh, cavalry. Go into the back. Oh, wow, our men fled already. Wow. Um, Skyclad clearly didn't have a good time there. Maybe attacking to the side of these guys. Yep, get them. Uh, my army over here needs to flank around. Chop, chop. We're losing. And there you go. So I'll have a quick look at the battle. See what's going on. Oh, it does look good. Oh, Slingers, they're, they're doing actually some quite a lot of damage, but quite a lot of damage to our own men, so we'll stop that. Stop that right there. Let's watch as that charge comes in. Oh, wrong flipping unit. Actually, I didn't give them the order. Or did they go in? I'm not sure. I think they did, but only half the unit did. That's bizarre. But anyway, there you go. These guys are doing their bit. There we go. Yeah, they still call, call them Thanes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Thanes aren't around for a little bit yet, pal. Yeah, these guys, oh, into the rear. They're going to do a lot of damage there. And there we go. The units are fleeing. They're in some real trouble there. And there we go. So where is my other unit of cavalry? I think it's still in combat, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, you can all go in there and get these guys. And then let's get the cavalry around here, we'll get a good charge. Uh, can you just charge in? I don't really care about flanking you hard. There you go, see? AI being as dumb as ever uh, just kind of makes it pretty easy, but hey. We'll get a good charge on the cavalry here. Charge! Heroic horseman! Yes, excellent. So there we go. So that's the Skyclad. These are the most dangerous unit I've found. These guys route units so quickly. And I just realized there's naked swords fighting naked swords or Skyclad by fighting Skyclad. Oh, yes. I hope I don't get demonetized for showing off some ma male booty. It's not my fault that they've got them out. That's just how they fight. Just how they fight. I can't stop them. Uh, the general's actually wavering. Okay, what? Well, that is kind of not surprising, actually. He's pretty surrounded. Uh, kill, kill the general. Oh, my Skyclad actually broke. And then the cavalry, I guess, can go in there. No, go after these guys. Another not bad charge, actually. That, I find charges in Thrones sometimes are even better. I mean, certainly in this mod, this is a excellent mod for cavalry charges. Everything's so lightly armoured. Um, yeah, the enemy general's dead. Um, we'll just condemn this unit here. And that's it. So that is the first battle I will show off. I think I'll do one more um, showing off Rome. Like I said, Rome is not as overpowered, so it's not going to be like... It's probably just going to be a 1v1. But it's still... Rome is different in this mod. He has done actually some different modeling. It's quite nice. So there we go. End the battle. So I'll see you guys in a moment... Uh, on the battlefield for the next battle between Rome and I'll pick some random Britannic tribe. See you guys in a moment. 
So we're back and we have the Romans here. We have the Praetorians, uh, which look very different to like the Rome 2 ones and the uh, uh, Lost Legion ones. Actually, I don't know if they ha even have them in the Lost Legion. I don't think they do. Um, so they don't have like their capes. They've got like a... I don't know if they have like... They don't have yeah their purple capes like they do in Rome 2. I don't know if they have this feather over the top. They might. Um, they look... look Goddamn awesome. We have a uh, legionary cohort down here. Look very similar to the Rome 2 ones. I mean, it's kind of so expected. This is kind of how they are uh, presumed to look. We've got legionnaires here, which are ever so slightly different. They've just got like chainmail while well, these guys have the scale armor. We have uh, legionary cav back here. These guys look awesome. The centurion ready. Yeah, these guys have like a proper shield. They look awesome. Legatus, who actually d looks very different. He's got like just auxiliary. Like, the unit's, like, got scale armor, but auxiliary shields. That's kind of cool. Uh, more of them. We've got uh, Velites today. These guys look awesome. I could have brought... They have Sagittarius as well, but I prefer... I think I'm going to bring some Velites instead, see what we can do with that. And then we've got down here, we've got... Uh, I think this is... One of these is... I think this is the auxiliary unit. Um, yeah, this is auxiliary unit. And then we have down here, we have... Um, somewhere. We have... Veteran auxiliaries, so they look ever so slightly different different shields, and I presume gonna be better in fighting <laughs> They they are veterans, and of course we have to fight the Iceni if we're playing as Rome um, So yeah, Boudicca's rebellion and all that uh, well, we're gonna It's gonna downsize it and reproduce it and absolutely smash these Iceni which have basically got a similar army to the Trinavantes um, Balance power is ever so slightly not in my, uh, in their favor, but I found that that's the case, and then Rome can end up getting beaten. Um, like these chosen skyclad, very nasty. Will run into the flanks and break stuffs. Um, and like their chosen swords will goes match to match for most of the legionnaires. So I'll just fast forward while uh, that all happens. I want to have a quick look. I mean, they do look good in blue, don't they? Oh, these druids. Shame you can't look at the druids as like another unit. They just they're only exclusive to the general. Kind of feels like why well, I've got to bring them. Um, but I mean, yeah, these tested spearband look also like look awesome. Like that, that just looks so like Iron Age Britain. It looks awesome, just like what the Romans would have fought. Um, keep coming up, boys. Don't be scared. Come to about here. Unless you're the cavalry, then you can go wide to the forest. Uh, General can join in the forest. And then we'll hopefully be able to flank around some areas and do some more damage. They've got plenty of. Of reserves actually. I don't know why the, the AI does this. Just puts a couple of units in reserve. Puts the slingers really out front as well. So we may have to take the slingers out with my uh, cavalry and everything else can just be taken out with whatever comes to hand. Whatever comes to hand. This probably, this cl how close they get now might be enough to trigger the AI. We'll see. Yep, as I thought. Can anything form shield wall? We could form something. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Um, let's slow this down. Oh my gosh, one of my units is getting absolutely hammered. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. They do have Peeler. Uh, and I'm going to just hold with that one. These ones can flank around. Oh my gosh, yeah, one of my units got absolutely like, hammered. I don't know if that was by my own side or what. Yeah, but you can see, these guys are, they still get beaten. They still get beaten hard. Chosen by Odin, apparently. Um, yeah, you don't need to go that far wide. Um, and then we need to throw Javis in here. Throw Javis in here. Oh, they're fleeing this time. Excellent, right. Um, but yeah, so are my men. Uh, that's probably the, the center as well. Um, throw jabbies in here. We're gonna have to just supply the front. This is what happens. Rome is uh, not as strong as it used to be. See, there's some very strong units in this game. So, uh, you two come out of that. You flank around. As do you. And then, hopefully, some of these units can survive. Oh gosh, we're in some rough seas there. Uh,. Go in there, get these guys. Get these guys. Yeah, the Skyclad are going to be a problem. I'm telling you, that's where it, where the issues lies. Um, is those chaps. 
There we go. Surround them. Excellent. Nice Javi throws it. See the Praetorians at work. And then lots of men breaking here, but that's to be expected. And look at that. I think they're all... I'm, oh, I thought they were all breaking there. Oh, dear. Cavalry, my general's in a bit of trouble. Um, do a charge into the back of there. Let's see what happens. Being very risky with my general. That was not a bad charge at all. Um, though it's now put him in very much in danger again. Uh, oh, the cavalry still getting attacked as it tries to get away. That's nice. Um, what's over here? Yeah, I think my... Yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. Huge breaks on both sides. Um, what's this? Well, if it can fight, it needs to fight. Because right now we need everything in the lines. The Iceni. Not as... Well, the general's gone. Uh, let's just make sure he actually is gone. Oh, general for me needs to get out of here as well. You really need to get out of there. Let's break that unit. General is returned for them. Okay. And now here we go. A nice little... Oh, a nice little pillum charge there. Pillum charge? Pillum throw. Lots breaking there. And then we can have more to come in here. Let's see the auxiliaries in the fight. Oh, it's a bit dark here. I do apologize. Excellent, and then the in come the veteran auxiliaries. I was actually a little bit worried we were going to lose this at one point. <laughs> it was a little, little bit of me that thought, "Oh dear," especially when um, when they like broke through the center. Those skyclad are pretty damn nasty. Uh, yeah, we're doing okay now. We're, we're holding the line. That's what you, all you need to do: hold the line. Uh, actually, come around here and we could just shoot those guys in the flank. Um, cavalry, I guess, kill the slingers. Also, general, kill the slingers. There we go, alright. We're doing okay, we're doing just fine. Uh, you guys, shoot to the side there. Shoot these guys. I want a volley, Velotes. Oh, no, some of them are out of ammo, I presume. Yeah, one's out of ammo, but we've got some Javi still throwing in. Not bad, not bad. Oh my gosh, there's not actually many of them in there. Yeah, we've cleared them up finally. I mean, that was a bit of a, a bit of a risky one. There you go, enemy general is dead, and this is kind of the only real last stand they've got that's even like half good. But yeah, I mean, Skyclad can definitely get through Roman legionaries. So if you're ever like wondering how to beat the Romans, because I think they're being t treated as like the Viking invasions when it comes to the campaign. Uh, best way to defeat them: get an army of Skyclad and some like chosen swords. You'll pr break these guys probably. Like, you'll certainly test them. Like the Romans have got a very small roster in comparison to the tribes, of obviously, since the uh, tribes are the main the main focus. As the cavalry charges in one last time. And there we go. Uh, let's end the battle and we'll have a look at the end results. I did actually forget to show you the end results of the first one. But uh, I'll show you the end results for this one. And it's... Uh, they're looking okay, aren't they? Um, I mean, not as well as in the first one. I think my sting has got like 200 odd kills. It was insane. Um, but yeah, I think most of the infantry got over 100 kills. So look at that one. Only got three kills. Wow, that's a legionary cohort. That was pretty awful. <laughs> and then everything else did pretty well. Um, their Slingers did very well. I think Slingers are going to do really well in this mod. Um, they're one of th the archers are very small in number but Slingers is a lot more of and they're a lot more powerful I think. Obviously just because of the numbers. And that, look at that, that Skyclad got, unit got 195. I didn't actually see what this uh, unit did. It's a, it's a, supposed to be a horn or something. I didn't actually see it on the battlefield. Real shame. But anyway that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see more um, Thrones of Britannia or Tribes of Britannia, or just want to support the channel, uh, it's always appreciated. We're trying to hit uh, 1,400. And uh, leave a comment as well to show your support if, uh, you want to, and if you want to see more Thrones or Tribes of Britannia. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 